Hello, hello. So, next day, this is uh, the stator that we glued yesterday. Um, and um, there's some blue stuff still from the sanding. But uh, as you can see, probably, it all is the, the glue dripped into the holes and it's pretty strong. It's also far more um, rigid than um, the MDF I used earlier, which is, uh, well, who would have thought? I mean, MDF is like the worst material. <coughs> Although uh, Magnapen uses hard hardboard, I think it's called. It's even shittier material than. Well, it does work for them. For me, it didn't work. Um. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna prepare the stator for gluing. So I first clean it with some alcohol. I already uh, kind of uh, rough, roughed it up with some sandpaper. We just have. You can see it's quite dirty. That's clean enough for me. This stuff smells. <clears throat> uh, not gonna open my new container of uh, Scotch Weld 30 or maybe Fastbomb 30 and F. Who knows? Because I still have some uh, of the old stuff. As you can see, it's uh, it's been there uh, quite a while. So uh, there's all kinds of smooth there. Yeah? And I uh, like to use a sponge, just an ordinary kitchen sponge, and it's an old one in this case. So uh, I make use of my waste. Probably did some dishes with it, but it doesn't really matter for this. Uh, and then, uh, well, I cannot reach it, so I'm gonna pour it in, into the front. And then get some on my sponge. In this case, we can see where we put the glue and where not. I think we're gonna do several layers or several, maybe two layers. Just a thin one to uh, make it a little bit tacky. Then add the second one. If you add too much at once, then it will drip through the holes and everything becomes kind of messy. So, we got our first layer. There's a spot that I missed, maybe here. Gotta clean off this glue from the plastic because we don't need it there yet. And we're gonna set it to dry here. So that's standing there. Then we're gonna use the glue jig. And uh, I got some uh, magnets uh, already cut from the roll because I reused it. It was from a big panel and uh, it didn't work quite well. I'm not sure why. I think it was the uh, tension of the foil and the distance from foil to magnet was too large and well you learn as, uh, as you go. Uh, we just drop it in and by just I'm not sure how easy it is gonna be because there's also in the, in the width of the magnet there's some variation. So the in the making of the magnet some are thicker than others, or thicker and wider than others. See, this should not stick. Then we know it's the in the correct order. Here, yeah, so this one doesn't really want to fit in. But with some force, it will. Might actually make these strips in the jig a little bit wider next time. 
If I got some new HPL because I ran out, kind of. I did order some more because it's it's. I really like the material. You can make uh, loads of stuff with it. I think uh, the light is going down, so I'm gonna add some light. The sun is gone, kind of. Let me see if I can light it up. Yes, we can. It's also nice and warm. Nice, warm and cozy. Okay, probably gonna fast forward this one because it's uh, quite boring. So I'll just do my thing and say nothing. Okay, so that's um, the big magnets done. I'm gonna cut off the uh, the excess material. Kind of wasteful, but what else I'm gonna do with all these um, pieces? Let's do the tweeter part. Um, the tweeter. Ah, well, yeah. Just got some on the roll, and uh, and someone asked if I could show you how to cut this stuff, and I was planning on doing that uh, someday. But uh, to cut these, I need a one millimeter um, cutter for my um, CNC, and I broke them all because um, they're quite fragile. And I'd rather use a two millimeter cutter, but then I probably use maybe too much magnet, so. Did not decide yet what to do. We have to align this one as well. So this is the good orientation and doesn't want to stick on the magnet beside it. Let's cut these uh, these stuff off. Good for some uh, pictures on the fridge, I guess. <laughs> I got a few of these kind of small pieces. Oh, I threw it behind the heater. So it will be probably there forever. Okay, so as you can see, all magnets are in, and you can see that uh, here <coughs> on the on the edges. Um, maybe I can show you up close. Uh, it's not not sitting very nicely here. It's because I broke some of the of these ridges. It's because I first let them make, or the CNC make this pocket. When I cut the whole thing out, this is only one millimeter um, wide, this uh, white piece here. So it breaks out. That was a dumb, dumb mistake. I could, could have avoided, but it's not a huge problem. I mean, it, it, it will still work. Okay, so all magnets are in. Let's uh, glue them as well. <coughs> we can use the sponge still a little bit, I think. Uh, the funny thing is that it, uh, it does, as you can see, kind of um, eats the sponge. 
Well, I thought it wasn't aggressive um, glue or anything, but it does kind of fox the sponge. Yeah. Well, one nice thing about this lamp is that the glue will dry pretty quick. I'm gonna do a double layer here as well, I think. This lamp is hot. It's a typical Sunday, you know? The boring ones. I don't like Sundays. Nasty weather, cold. Just a typical Sunday. Except when you're uh, having vacation or something, then Sundays suddenly uh, are not no big deal. Okay, so we're gonna put it somewhere to dry, uh, maybe behind it, so it still warms up a little bit from the lamp. Now we're gonna give this one a second coat while, while we're busy. This sponge has, uh, well, it's pretty much done. I'm really curious about the the use of other metal, but it has to wait because uh, I ran out of money to buy all kinds of stuff that I don't actually really need, but just is fun to play with and to make the new video and such. Uh, let's swap these over. Let this one dry, this one is almost dry. This lamp really helps, so I'm just gonna apply a second coat right away. <laughs> so now we wait a little bit. Looks, looks pretty dry. Okay, so now the next step is quite easy because uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it in. And what I uh, will do is I keep the tweeter panel as reference. So this side is gonna be against one of the spacers and the other side, well, depending on how I glued the spacers, it, well, there's uh, some space left here. Another reason why it's nice to have some space left on, the, on this side is because this is gonna be the mid range and uh, very close to the uh, edge of the spacer, it's hard to get any mid-range. It's, it's gonna be only high frequencies mostly. So for the tweeter, that doesn't matter. It's even, uh, well, it's, it's okay. But for the mid-range, I'd rather uh, have it, have a little bit more motion if possible. Okay, so I'm gonna drop it in like this. Everything still holds. Then there we go. Kind of in the middle. No, not really, huh? It kind of sticks right away. Ah, I wanted to. Yeah, both sides. I think this is it. pinch my finger because it, it seems that there are magnets and this is metal so it it wants to stick now I should use like a hammer or something a rubber mullet might do to give it a few uh, taps or a, as Eve would say tapity tap I guess that's some really annoying noisy sound Moment of truth, I hope. Yeah, I see a problem here. It's no big problem. 
but it's a problem with the well as I mentioned earlier that the the ends of the small uh, magnets didn't they were not nicely in the place they should be but I don't think it's gonna be a problem I need something to pry this plate out like uh, a screwdriver will do I think Ooh, that's not a promising sound. That is. Yeah. So this is quite shitty. I'm not sure what happened here. One of the magnets came along. So I just drop it in place by hand. Yeah, so the tweeter magnets are kind of a pain in the ass. Normally they aren't. But since I broke the ends off in the jig. In the end. It still looks quite neat. As you can see the tweeter uh, magnets, pretty uh, straight. There's some crap there. Not sure what it is. Uh, some of the glue, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's one panel done, at least magnet wise. While I'm at it, I'm gonna scuff it up because I have to uh, sand it anyways for um, gluing the mylar on, so might as well do it right away. And then clean it once, so there will, won't be any debris on here before I glue the mylar on, because it will be there forever until I remove the mylar. Clean it up straight away, close the glue before it all dries out. Again, some alcohol, the cheapest. The stinky one. <coughs> the smell is terrible. So we got one panel done, or at least one stator. It weighs uh, quite a lot more now. And here you can see what I meant with... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, about this, the open area. You can see a pattern emerge. Should have light behind it to show this. Uh, wait. Well, here you can see that some uh, spaces between the magnet look wider, but it's not actually the spacing between the magnets. But it's just that one magnet blocks off most of the hole. So in between these magnets, like uh, this one, the open area is less than 32.6. Only the perfect ones, like this maybe 32.6 this one definitely isn't that one definitely isn't so <laughs> open area is even lower than it actually already is I reckon it will be like we got like half the open area compared to the <coughs> compared to the magma pen which is not not what I wanted But yeah, it is what it is. Okay, well, next video uh, probably be Mylar.